into Edge with a Franchise Guy and coming after Monday's upsetting episode of our Madden 21 Franchise Mode, it has come to my ever-loving attention how much I dislike Madden. Uh, to the point where from now on to the end of the series, we are going to change the playing format of the series. So we're not going to be playing games, we're going to be doing more or less single season sims until the game either says uh, forces us to retire or just some other nonsense that is going to be out of our control and will be super frustrating in the long run. Yeah, but right there you see the Bills. There you go, they win their first ever Super Bowl. You love to see that, defeating Russell Wilson and the Seahawks, the four-time AFC champs, the five-time AFC champion, uh, Buffalo Bills, really do take it home. Lawrence Rivera, Lawrence Chase Young, just rack up awards. Take all those who have retired this season. Hayward, Pouncey, uh, Schwartz, Tate, Williams, Matt Ryan. You know, some real stalwarts in the NFL are hanging out. Gerald McCoy, Ron Leary. Case Kim, Colin Kaepernick, KJ Wright, Clay Matthews, you know, former football team player, you saw Cordell Patterson there, play with us for a season as a return man, so you like to see that right there, uh, but we're going to go with some players, some contracts this episode, so we got Cameron Curl right here, you know, big fan favorite in Washington, Chase Clay, Colby, Hoy Jr., the receiver depth guys, just, we just don't have enough receiver depth, frankly, so... There's that right there. I take a look at the free agency. Who is available for those in free agency? We have Baker, uh, more or less everyone right here. You love to see this. I mean, you do and you don't love to see it. I guess that's. I guess that's what you wanna. You wanna go for it right now. I mean, getting a lot you getting a lot of strange names I'm seeing a lot of veteran a, a really big mix of veterans you know guys that are 27 to 34 but then you're getting a lot of guys who are not guys who are 25 and 26 they're also making their free agents you know see appearance right here which is kind of kind of weird to me that you're getting guys that are you know more or less in their prime just hitting the market you know, we're going to try and offer, you know, Rodney Hudson a, s a position right here. Or a contract at least. You know, just kind of lock down that center position for this team. Yeah, thanks. Center is one of our weaker points. We have uh, Royer right there. So we need to try to find a replacement for him. We're not going to bring him back. Uh, sorry for all you Chase Royer fans. Cam Robinson. I mean, he's an upgrade at left tackle for us. A three-year, $7 million contract. A three forty-five signing bonus. Not bad for Cam. You know, I think he just helped lock down that left tackle position. Melvin Ingram, you know, we, we're known for bringing in veteran, you know, rotational guys to play behind Montez Sweat and Chase Young. So I think Melvin Ingram right here is going to be our guy. And Taylor players have signed. Hudson turns us down, which is a bit unfortunate to say the least. Baker goes up to New England, which is uh, strange to think about, I guess. Uh, but we're going through this right here. We're flying through it, guys. We're absolutely flying through it. And you're going to see where we end up. We are going to be not really signing any of these big name guys. Probably just some, some depth players here and there. Uh, you're seeing how everyone ranks up against players we have. You got to think we've spent big the past couple of all seasons. We brought in Jai Alexander and Leighton Van Der Esch. You know, we have Evan Neal at right tackle. He's replaced Morgan Moses officially. You know, we have Brandon Sheriff, who's a veteran, and right there, you see, we bring in, we do bring in Ingram, and we do bring in Cam Robinson right here, you know, just to, you know, hold down that left tackle position, and take our uh, draft, our first round draft pick, we're going with Peter Skoronsky right here, he's a center, he's a hidden dev center, he's probably going to be a star dev, Nick Cross, he's a late third rounder, I'm going to pick him late in the second round. But I just have a good feeling about Nick Cross. It says we reached, you know, we drafted at 62. He's right at 71. Uh, but hidden dev right here. Pretty sure it's going to be star maybe. I'm not really sure. 
Warren Sapp, the sack, not even a big name, just a notable name right here in the third round. He's a late third, fifth round pick. We're taking him super early in the third round just so we guarantee we can get him. But the son of Warren Sapp, Hall of Fame defensive tackle right there. He reached, definitely reached on this one. You know, 137, 118, so not even that bad. Just 19 picks ahead of where he should have gone. But we're going to go through more or less where everyone did end up in the draft. But going through this, we're going to speed it up a little bit. So we're not just, you know, if you want to slow it down, you want to pause it, take a look at where players have ended up. We're going through it kind of quicker than we probably should be going through it right now to get everyone's name in. So you can see where all these guys are. We are in year three, by the way. So this is the final year of realistic draft classes. Uh, so I wouldn't think too highly of us drafting much in the next couple of seasons, especially, you know, focusing on the draft or finding a lot of talent, because I do like to focus on having real players, which I which I feel like is the name of the game, you know. It just brings that immersion in right there because no one wants to play with, you know, you know, DeAndre Elway. Or I've, I've had a player named DeAndre Hopkins. He was a linebacker. You know, spelled DeAndre Hopkins the same way the wide receiver was spelled. I go, possible, but very unlikely there's two DeAndre Hopkins in the league at the same time with the same name. Uh, but if you guys have any comments or questions about what we're doing with this series going forward, feel free to comment down below. Bun text on YouTube, though. Peace out. Rock on. Stay super classy. Catch